Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see analysis of certain transformation in Power Center. Now we'll see all the properties which are present in certain transformation. Uh, the agenda of this video is first we'll see a demo and then I will talk about the important points of certain transformation. Let's start with a quick demo. Now before going to the mapping design, this is my source table. Let me show you the source data and we can see product ID, product name, product quantity and product ID is having 1, 2, 3, 8, 5, 7, 7, 4, which is in its unsorted data and product name we are having a uh, laptop fridge like that and product quantity now if you want to sort uh, based on product id then we can sort using the sorted transformation and product name also if you want you can sort and product quantity also we can sort now uh, we can simply remember one thing like uh, it's a sorted transformation power center is same as order by order by uh, in sql now we can see this is the target table which is empty now let me load the data by sorting based on product id into the target table I have imported my source table and target table. Now let me create a transformation sorter. And this is a sorter. Sorter 1. Now let me pass the ports to from here to sorter transformation. Sorter is a connector transformer, so that's why it should be in the data flow. Now go to the property. This is important. Sorter catchy size. So this is the catchy. Uh, file size that we are mentioning by default it would be auto if you want to mention 1024 mb which is 1 gb or 2048 mb which is 2 gb now you can mention and case sensitive i will talk it about later and work dir so sorter will create a catchy file so that will be created by default under this directory if you want to change you can change the location at the integration service level now distinct when you choose a distinct now whatever if there are duplicate rows in the source now that won't come to the target next when you don't choose then duplicate records will also come tracing level so when you are troubleshooting any issues then you can choose this tracing level which is a workforce data it will give you a lot of information null treated low so when you check this option that means when you enable this property uh, we are telling the integration service treat the null values as a lower than any other value okay now if you if i don't check then treat the null value as a higher than any other value that means treat the uh, like when it is when it treats as a higher value then all the null values will come to the come at the bottom i will show you that transformation scope so all input by will be the by default all input in the uh, means like the incoming row is does not depend on any like it depends on all the uh, rows in a source now transaction in the sense like when whenever the incoming record it will it is uh, depends on only a particular transaction set of transactions so then we need to choose transaction i am clicking on all input and ports you can see this is a pid p name p quantity now this is the important one key so i wanted to sort based on product id and it should be in ascending order descending order i am keeping ascending order let me save the mapping let me run the workflow now we can see the target data which is uh, sorted based on product id we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 7, 8. Okay. Now, if I want to sort based on uh, product name, now let me uh, go to the designer once again. Now, here I am going to choose, uh, you can remove this keyboard and I am going to choose this one. Apply. Okay. And let me save the mapping. Let me refresh the session and let me start. Now, we can see the data is sorted uh, based on product name. Now, we can see A will come first, B and then C and then F and then we'll get uh, capital uh, small letters okay now if you see here like uh, we can see 7 bat 70 so these are the duplicate values okay from the source now what i am going to and also these are the duplicate values and uh, if you see fridge we are having here okay and also here so these two like uh, they, they are treating these two are treating as a different value now if you want these two to treat as a same value that means it should not consider the case sensitive now let me go to designer once again now here we can see case sensitive option so due to this uh, property that we have checked so that's why fridge capital letter and small letter is treating as a different value now i don't want like that i wanted to remove that now let me save the mapping once again let me rerun the session now we can see these two are treated as the same value so that's why fridge uh, is coming like we are getting at the same value okay now let me go to the designer once again also we can observe one thing like uh, when when we remove that sensitive option then we can see so capital letters and again we are getting a small letter so that means it is not considering the case okay this is the source data. Now we can see in the source data, we have a duplicates. So which is, this is the duplicate record. Now I wanted to remove the duplicate. Now let me go to the designer. 
we need to check the property distinct and i'm going to check this one apply okay let me rerun workflow now we can see the target table like uh, we got only seven records so the duplicate record got removed now uh, consider i'm going to insert a null value into the source So I'm going to insert a null value. And I'm going to commit. This is my source data. You can see I have a 10 records I have. Now let me go to designer. Now let me use this property null treated row. So when I enable this property, that means I am turning to integration surface to treat null values as lower than any other value. Okay, that means lower. Okay, now let me save this. Now let me rerun the workflow. Now we can see null values are cutting at a top value because I told that when you enable this property to integration service, they treat the null values as lower than any other value. So lower in the sense like it will sort from the short to higher. So that's why we are counting in the uh, top so i am i am sorting based on product name now let me go to designer now we can see i am sorting as a uh, in, uh, based on product name and let me uncheck this one null treated low so that means i am telling treat the null value as a higher value okay that means higher value in the sense like whatever the value that comes so it will be higher than any other value so then null values will come at the bottom now we can see the null values are getting at the bottom. So that means we told uh, treat these null values at the higher value. So that's why these are the higher values when it is in sorting order. So it came at the bottom of the pin. A video demo got completed. Now important points are sorted transformation. So sorted transformation is active transformation. So as we know, active transformation, the number of records that are passing into the transformation is equal is not equal to the number of records that are outputting. But here sorter will pass, but the order of the sorter transformation will change. So that's why it is an active transformation. It is a connector transformation as it connects to the data flow. It will can sort uh, not only the relational data, it can also sort stat file source and use a distinct property to remove duplicates as we discussed and case sensitive option wisely. So based on the requirement you can use a null treated row to display the order of the null values in the target and direction property so if you want to set ascending or descending order you can use a direction and use sorter transformation before the aggregator so before the aggregator so where we use sorter before the, if you have a aggregator so where it will sort the data so in order to improve the performance then we can sort before only and we can pass the sorted data to the aggregator now sorter catchy will be created so the catchy file can be increased or decreased as i shown the default value is auto and work directory is a directory where the catchy files will be created. The default directory is PM temp directory. Now you can refer to these knowledge base articles and uh, to the info support channel. We, we would love to hear from you. You can give your valuable feedback at support videos at informatica.com or Twitter channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.